This is May UTA. Prepare to be updated. For this episode of Drill Weekend Update, we're here to talk about the sensitive topic of mental health. May is National Mental Health Awareness Month, and we're here to talk with the Director of Psychological Health, Jennifer Matthews. My name is Jennifer Matthews. I'm the Wing Director of Psychological Health for the state of Florida. I am generally based at the 125th um, Fighter Wing in Building 12 at the Airman Family Readiness Center. I am usually here from 7 until 16.30. Dealing with divorce to having struggles with like alcohol issues to PTSD, any kind of acute stress disorder, anxiety, depression, um, you, you name it. I, I help with it. Consultation is confidential. The only exception to that is if it's a duty to warn situation, then I want to get uh, further help for the person that I'm talking to. When you come to me, it's best if you can come when it is um, it's just starting you know, in the surface, when you start to feel off or it's just not right or you're starting to have those moods or behaviors that seem to be starting to kind of boil to the surface. And if you can be proactive and take action before it becomes a big problem, before it starts affecting you at work, at home, and it's to nip it in the bud and, and really look for help so that we can start working on it now. Other resources beside myself is you've got um, family readiness, but you've got Military One Source, which is 24 7. It's a 1 800 number. You can call at any time. They're even open on Christmas Day. Um, so you can call them after work when it's your convenience. You can also talk to the chaplains, they're also available to chat with. Just call um, Command Post and they'll get you connected with the chaplain if you're not here on drill. Where they get the opportunity to kind of first get that burden off and then that's a sense of relief in itself and then to feel like somebody's there helping them every step of the way. To help ensure our airmen are fit to fight, I'm here to give you your fitness tip of the month. When you're at the gym and you want to lift some weights, first things first, make sure you've taken off all rings, watches, and any jewelry you might have on. Then, make sure you have your feet planted to give yourself a solid base because that's where you're going to get the most power. Now, what's most important is never lift more weight than you can handle, especially if you don't have a spotter. But let me show you the proper technique. Inhale as you bring the bar down. Exhale as you push the bar up. And that is proper technique. Now, always remember to warm up before moving up to your max weight. And stay tuned for future fitness tips of the month. My wingman is Staff Sergeant Shireen Robinson. My wingman is Senior Airman Torres. He also works with me in the MSG CSS. My wingman is Christopher Stone. My Airman Benson. If I was stressed out, I would go to my coworkers at work. I'm a corrections officer, and we're all trained to deal with mental health issues. So I'd probably go to one of them. If I had problems, I would probably go to a closest friend, relative. If I had any issues, I would feel comfortable speaking with the chaplain. 
first I would kind of figure out what they're struggling with, maybe ask them a couple of questions so I could direct them in the right way. Maybe some family issues, maybe the chaplain, um, you know, the supervisor kind of see it so I just don't give them a generic answer. If I knew someone who was struggling, I would recommend that they talk to me because I know a lot of outside resources um, as far as like the agencies and institutions out and about in Jacksonville. Well, I'm pretty good at listening, so I would recommend them, you know, talking to me if they were comfortable talking to me or, you know, like I said, uh, the first sergeant or someone that they're close to. Yo, dude, what's up? Are you coming to the game this weekend? She says, hey, Miss Pearl, you famous now. <laughs> You smell like roses and suck at handstand walks. Have a great, have a wonderful weekend. <laughs> That's funny. Hey man, what should I buy? Hot dogs or sausages? It makes me feel good to get a text during the month because it shows good wingmanship that he's thinking about me, making sure I'm okay. Battling high winds, a theater security package of F-15 fighters from the 159th Expeditionary Fighter Squadron touched down at Louvarden Air Base, Netherlands to begin a six-month deployment in Europe. The 159th is made up of airmen from multiple Air National Guard units who deployed from the 125th Fighter Wing in Jacksonville, Florida. The joint endeavor is the first Air National Guard rotation for the theater security package, or TSP, which supports Operation Atlantic Resolve. You don't necessarily get to pick and choose who you work with, but it'd be nice to know that um, who you're working with knows what they're doing. A lot of the times, other units do things differently because working around a jet, it could be pretty dangerous if you really don't know what you're doing. So you have to know like who you're working with and what they know, I guess. In addition to the 12 F-15s, the rotation brings in over 200 airmen where they will support and participate in Frisian Flag 2015. Frisian Flag is a two week long exercise that will focus on the combat readiness of pilots and international cooperation. Participation in the exercise includes 60 aircraft from multiple coalition nations. From Louvarden Air Base, I'm Airman First Class, Andrew Carroll.